Late at night, you're on your MacBook Pro watching your favorite YouTuber, Sal Khan, frantically studying for tomorrow's chemistry final. Your mom bursts into the room and tells you to Stop staring at the laptop screen because it ruins your eyes. Is listening to her really going to benefit your health though? Or is it just a really bad excuse for failing your final? Chemistry final! Can we throw a party for it? It turns out that your mom is in fact right. Because of one specific reason. Blue light. To understand why blue light is bad, you have to understand how your retina works. Light waves enter your eye, eventually reaching your photoreceptors, where the energy of the photons causes them to send an electrical signal to your brain. The light that isn't absorbed by your photoreceptors passes into the outermost layer, the RPE. Knowing the importance of RPE is crucial to answering the question. There are three reasons why RPE is important. First, the RPE absorbs extra light like sound dampening foam in a recording studio and transports the heat into the blood vessels attached to it, sort of like a water-cooled heatsink for your photoreceptors. Second, the RPE acts as an airlock, preventing the corrosion of your photoreceptors by oxygen. Third, the RPE acts as a semi-permeable membrane, transporting glucose, vitamin A, and fatty acids into the subretinal space while transporting water, ions, and metabolic end products out. As you can see, the health of your photoreceptors depends upon the health of your RPE. Numerous studies ranging from 1966 to present day have shown that overexposure to blue light induces the cell death of human RPE. This is why blue light is toxic, because it kills your RPE and likewise destroys your photoreceptors. So am I telling you that Gargamel is really a hero saving the world from retinal damage? Well, no. Earlier, I failed to showcase one of the coolest cells in your body, the Mueller cells. These cells literally direct light with their funnel-shaped feet to your cones, like a fiber optic cable. They direct mostly red and green light to cones and dissipate 85% of the blue light onto the rods, which best function at those wavelengths and make up the majority of your photoreceptors. This allows for most of the blue light to be absorbed by the photoreceptors, and in turn less has to be absorbed by the RPE. Now, although Mueller cells assist in preventing RPE death in your daily activities, they cannot protect your eyes from the threat posed by the overuse of digital screens, especially during the night. Therefore, the best way to protect your eyes is to decrease the brightness of your screens, add color filters to limit blue light exposure, and most of all, limit your screen time.